does social pressure lead to conformity? Well, to answer this question, Solomon Ash would design a classical experiment which would go down in history and become part of psychology textbooks all over the world, titled Solomon Ash's Conformity Experiment. Well, to conduct this experiment, Solomon Ash simply employed 50 male college students and asked them would they want to participate in a vision's test. The design of the experiment was very simple yet very ingenious. Solomon Ash put a participant in the room with seven other people. Unknown to the participant, the seven other people in the room were actually Confederates. The Confederates had already met with Solomon Ash beforehand and had already agreed on a pre-selected set of answers. In total, there were 18 trials. 12 of those 18 trials were known as the critical trials, in which the Confederates would give the wrong answer on purpose. In the experiment, Solomon Ash asked the participants, as well as the Confederates in the room, which of these lines equaled the targeted line. For every single trial, the right answer was always going to be obvious. If the participant in the critical trials sided with the majority of the Confederates, and had chosen the wrong answer, it would be obvious that social pressure has led to conformity. Well, that's fine on paper, but was Solomon Ash actually able to pull it off? Was he able to manipulate conformity because of social pressure? Well, for all those rooting for Solomon Ash at home, he actually succeeded and he was successfully able to manipulate conformity using social pressure. According to the findings, 75% of the participants actually conformed. After the experiment, the participants were interviewed and were asked why did they conform so readily in the experiment. Majority of them stated that they were actually scared of being made fun of, so they sided with the majority. Solomon Ash was able to pinpoint two critical reasons why conformity takes place. The first reason is that the participants don't want to be made fun of, so they side with the majority. And the second reason the participants actually believed that the majority, who was actually giving wrong answers on purpose, might know something which the participants do not, so they sided with the majority, trusting their judgment. In another variation, Solomon Ash actually allowed the participants to give their answer privately on a piece of paper. In that scenario, conformity drastically decreased. One of the explanations for this phenomenon could be, as the participants are now able to give their answer privately, no one else would know their answer and hence the participants would be no longer in danger for being made fun of. During the process, Solomon Ash found out the number of people required for conformity to take place. He found out that conformity needs three people for it to occur. If the number of people exceeds more than three, the participants might get suspicious and hence conformity may not take place. In another variation, Solomon Ash introduced another confederate in the study who would actually go against the majority. In that scenario, Solomon Ash found out that conformity dropped down by 80%. The reason for this phenomenon is explained as group unity remains intact, social pressure does also remain intact and hence conformity takes place. But once group unity is broken, social pressure ceases to exist and hence conformity decreases drastically. So what can we take away from all this? Well, in all essence, at times you might be alone, but also you might be right as well. And as always, thanks for watching.